hey, so it's been forever. And I wanted to have like some kind of solid feedback for you guys. Um, sorry, whenever I see my face in the fucking camera, I'm just like, anyway, focus. All right, so I do not, would I encourage anybody to listen to me right now? Maybe not. I certainly wouldn't encourage anybody who's brand new to HCG to um, start thinking about the conversation I'm about to have because it's really geared more towards um, called them back. It's really geared towards people that have already done HCG properly several times or at least once and uh, it's about fucking around with the protocol in essence. So, I did something I've never done before that I'm sure it's not allowed. I did a 15 day round of HCG. Of course I loaded for two days even though I wasn't going to do the 24 diet days. Did I think to load for one day? No, I loaded for two days and I did 15 days very low cal. <clears throat> Besides the loading weight, which was like five pounds, that temporary loading weight, I dropped 10 pounds. I then, so when I say I did 15 days, 15 days of the diet, weaning off the drops three days prior to it. So on the 15th day, I was weaned off the drops and it was my last VLCD day. Okay, so here we are. 15 days after doing VLCD, down 10 pounds, I embark on an eight day break. So my intentions during that break, I set out with these intentions, I was gonna do like a serious P3, like no carbs, no sugar, and maintain my 10 pound weight loss. My intention then was to just resume the drops and the diet, no loading. What happened is a little bit different. When is it not? You know, when is it really not? What happened was, for those eight days that I was off, like in the beginning, like the first day, I just ate normal, maintained my two pound range of the 10 pound loss. Then <clears throat> I definitely had a little bit of like a heavy day and went out of range. So I did do a steak day. But then what happened was that kind of set up a beat. So it became one day, not quite loading, but not being careful and certainly adding all sorts of shit, carbs and sugar. And there would be a corrected day, steak day. Next day, Mexican, I don't even like, it's not that I don't like Mexican food, I don't go for it normally. Mexican food, chips, all that shit, corrected day. So the eight days had that kind of rhythm. Free for all, not quite a load, but certainly not resembling anything like a P3 maintenance, corrective day. Now don't forget the corrective days correct when you go over a P3 day. I don't know how powerful they are and if they're intended or have the ability to correct an Aegina in between loading and normal eating day. Do you know what I mean? So let's just fast forward. The eight days go by and now I'm thinking I'm going to start the drops tomorrow and the diet. And then I start talking to someone who's like, you might be hungry because the drops aren't in your system. And I knew it. My gut was like, no, no, no. In his book, he calls it planned interruption. You're allowed to be off for up to 10 days and then you just resume the diet and the drops. I knew this, but her plan sounded so much better. Like it was so much more seductive. It was like, really? Take the drops and maybe load for a day before starting the diet? So that's what I did. I took the drops, loaded for a day, and then the following day went back on the VLC day. So what happened? After starting the VLC day for the second time, it took me four days on VLC day to get back into that two pound range. So I was out of range and it took four full diet days before I got back into range. Is that horrible? No, like I said, I'm fucking around and I'm experimenting if I needed to be like in Cancun next week 
I wouldn't be taking these luxuries. But the fact of the matter is it's March. I still have time to talk until I have to put on like spring and summer clothes. So I've got the luxury of time. Not all the time in the world, but some time. So I'm back on the diet. The experiment, so my, my results, to recap, would be, did it work well? Did my break work well? No, because the intention of me on that break was to maintain that weight loss, even if I had to do a corrective day, and I didn't. I was going like way out of range and probably not going back into range and slowly climbing up because I was not, um, I don't mind a corrective day, but like I said, the days I was correcting were, were not reasonable. And then the loading with the drops was not a good idea. So what I'm doing now is I'm doing another 15 days. I'm on day like five. My intention is to drop as much as possible, like another eight or 10, because I'm back in the range with the first 10 pound weight loss. I want to go another down 10. And then I will embark on a break and this time mark my words, but they might not be worth shit. I'm going to intend to eat P3 with corrective days if needed, and then go on one more 15 day round, immediately drops in diet, no loading, and then be able to tell you how that worked. You know, was I just, did I start out the gate within that two pound range, and how was the weight loss? Because like I said, it took me four days of BLCD just to get back in my, in my range. So, does that make sense? I have no idea because I'm not listening. I'm talking, but that's all I got.